Hello again. As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy over here for Everyman IT, and today's class is on power line networking. Um, this is an amazing, wonderful, nifty, great technology that, that far too many people don't know about. So it's basically what, what power line networking allows you to do is it allows you to use the electrical uh, system in your building as your network. So basically you, you plug in one of these power line devices, you plug in a network cable to it, uh, and you, you plug that power line device into a, a power outlet. And then at some other point in the building, uh, you plug another power line device into a plug you plug that into a network cable, and now you, you, you have connected to the network. It is an absolutely great piece of technology, uh, incredibly stable. It's just good. It's good, good, good. So this class, I'm going to teach you a little bit about power line networking. It's very simple. This will be a very short class, but like I say, it will save your butt. It is just, it's amazing stuff. So, uh, so give me a second to get a few things together, and we'll do this class on power line networking. So power line networking uh, for you is pretty simple. I don't know what technology goes into one of these little things, uh, but for you and me, actually installing it, it is very, very, very simple. Power line networking has been around for at least 10 years. Uh, I first started using Belkin devices. Uh, they could push out about 10 megabits per second. Now these Linksys or Cisco or whatever they are, they're called devices can push out up to 200 megabits per second. So they've gotten a lot faster over the years. Like I say, I I've been using them about 10 years. Literally, literally, basically all this does is, is you plug a network cable into this device, you plug the other side of this network cable into your switch or to your router that's connected to the network, right? You plug in your power cable into a power outlet on this side. So now you have so you, you have your you have your router here. So you have the internet, you have your router. Basically, you plug your router into this little power line device, and you plug the power line device into the network. Then, wherever else in the building you want this network to run, you plug another one of these power line devices into a plug there, and then you can plug this power line device directly into a computer, or into a switch, or into a router. And now, you have connected uh, to the network. Um, it's, it's, it's really uh, that simple. So I'm going to be using this uh, very shortly uh, in my own house uh, because I live in a row house, and so it's a three-story. Uh, row houses are basically like townhouses, right? And so it's three stories. Uh, my internet connection is in the basement. And the thing is, is from this internet connection, I. I have connected a Cisco wireless access point. So right now, my computer upstairs connects to the internet using that wireless access point. Well, here's the thing. Um, up in my little office upstairs, I want to create a, a small network now so that I can do some experiments uh, for these classes, right? So you right now, uh, you know, I don't want to have to put a wireless card into every single computer that I'm using. I also don't want to set up a wireless bridge network because, um, you know, that could just be a little bit much of a pain in the butt. So why I purchased these power line devices is I will plug one of these power line devices in down here. So the power line device will plug into my router. Then up here, I will plug in another power line device, run that power line device to my switch, and then plug all the computers uh, that I want um, into the, the switch. So now I can have 10 computers up in my office upstairs, all connected to a switch, which connects to the power line device, uh, which then connects down and out to the internet. So this is a very, very quick and easy way to extend your network. Um, another reason you might want to use these power line devices uh, versus using wireless networking, because you may say, well, you know, uh, wireless cards are, are pretty cheap and expensive right now. Why would I want to use one of these uh, when, I, when, when the computers just have uh, wireless cards already built in? Well, one of the problems that I've seen is I, uh, when dealing with small businesses, sometimes they pack so many wireless computers into a single room that the signal 
from all those wireless computers actually starts messing uh, with everybody else. And so it actually congests the wireless network. So I've seen where in a small room about as big as uh, my little studio here, they'll have 10 wireless computers. All those wireless computers are trying to communicate and it just creates a hash of everything. If they used one of these little power line devices, they wouldn't have all that wireless interference and, and all this problem. So, so basically, that's, a, that's all the, the power line device does is it extends your network using the electrical outlets. Uh, these work very, very well. Uh, th this does use a standard, so just like there's the 802.11 standard uh, for wireless networks, this is just uses something called the home plug standard. So whether you buy Netgear, whether you buy Belkin, whether you buy Linksys or any of the, the other no-name uh, people out there, they all use the home plug standard uh, for making this, this network work work. Um, as a professional, uh, I guess theoretically, they should be able to talk to each other properly. Uh, like I say, knowing network equipment manufacturers and such, if I was you, I would buy all your home plug or your power line devices from one manufacturer. So if you decide to use Linksys, I would say just use Linksys. If you decide to use Belkin, just use Belkin. They are supposed to play nice together. Um, whether or not they actually do, you know, who, who kind of knows? I, I, I would stick, uh, stick with one manufacturer. So, so that, that's basically uh, all these power line devices are. Uh, they're really great. Uh, they're about $100 per access point per one of these. Uh, like I said, I bought this, uh, this Linksys pack of two for $160. So, so they're not bad in price. Uh, and it's, it's really a pretty good thing. So that's, that's all the power line devices do is again, you plug this into a router and then into the wall outlet. You go up to wherever you want your network extended to, uh, and you just plug into either a computer or switch up here, and now you have extended your network. It is really that simple. So that's all uh, power line networking is. So, so basically you have one of these little power line adapters. Again, that gets plugged into your main network and then gets plugged into a wall outlet. Then wherever you want the network extended to, uh, you plug in another one of these adapters into a wall outlet and then into the computer or to the switch, uh, etc. Uh, again, like I say, this stuff is very stable. I've been using it for 10 years. Uh, it's great, it's wonderful. And realistically, it's pretty inexpensive when you think about it. I mean, even at $100 per one of these little, uh, little devices, I mean, that's not bad considering, you know, running a network cable, you know, would normally cost you about $150 per run uh, if you have somebody professionally do it. Now, as I will say, as I will say, as I will say, uh, if you can run real Cat5 cable, you know, if you can do real, you know, running real cable to, to, to where uh, the computer needs to get plugged in, and that is the, the best way to go. You know, doing straight Cat5 cable is always the best because Cat5 cable can support up to a gigabit per second at least. It's just more stable, it's good, etc. But, you know, if, if you need to inexpensively extend your network to a different part of the building, these things do work wonders. Uh, normally, you plug one of these things in, uh, you know, I've seen them, they normally work fine for a few months, like three months, and then maybe after three months you might have to unplug them and plug them back in to kind of reboot, but otherwise uh, they're, they're really pretty stable. And again, like I say, this is a great alternative to wireless uh, networking because again, like I say, especially nowadays since we have so much wireless equipment, by having that much wireless equipment, you actually start creating interference uh, between the devices and then your overall wireless network really just comes to a halt or gets really glitchy and has problems. So, uh, so, so this can fix a lot of that, that, that issue. So really, that's all uh, power line devices are. Again, I, I've used them a lot. These are wonderful little devices. Um, again, you can buy them. Belkin makes very good. Uh, power line devices. Linksys makes very good power line devices. Netgear, eh? I don't like Netgear personally, uh, but, but there are many manufacturers of this. The only thing that I would say is again, these use the home plug standard. So they do use a technical standard. Me being me, I would buy them all from the same manufacturer. So whoever you decide to buy these, your power line device from, just buy them all from the same person. Again, buy it all from Linksys or all from Belkin. And that's really all there is to it. So, as you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy. As always, it was fun uh, teaching this class, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.